Welcome to the Positive Engagement and Economic Power of Kindness, aka PPOC Pep Talk, sharing insights, wisdom, and tips from leaders around the world to enhance your personal and professional lives. I'm your host, Randy McNeely, the kindness giver and chief kindness officer for the PPOC Institute. I invite you to get a pen and paper for notes and be ready to learn. Are you ready? Let's get started. Good evening and good morning, everyone. And good evening from where I am. Good morning, where <laughs> my amazing guest, the amazing and wonderful Joy Lang, is joining me from Malaysia today on the inaugural edition of PPOC Pep Talk. So, <laughs> and I said it right. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> So grateful to have you here with us, Joy. And I want to just tell you a little bit about Joy. She's a positive psychology and heartation coach. I'm going to have to talk about that word heartation and get her to give us an explanation of that. She helps leaders to align their hearts and minds for joyful living and peak performance by integrating positive psychology, uh, neuroscience, heart math, and holistic methodologies. She's also the founder of the She Network. I use that word she in there a lot, the she network and the author of From Zero to Shakti. Her vision is to ignite, and we're going to have to tell us about that too, by the way. Her vision is to ignite 1 million hearts for joyful living and peak performance through her heartation training. And speaking of heartation training, before we start into the questions and the discussion, we're going to do what uh, Joy calls a heartation meditation and why don't you explain that a little bit to us joy <laughs> okay so good morning and good evening wherever you're joining us uh, so glad to have you here with us uh, what i wanted to share is a practical technique that we teach in heartation um, so this is a, what i call a heartation pulse this is a great activity to do the first thing in the morning the very first moment that you become conscious so that you can set your day right and everything will be amazing after that. It's probably going to be like your most amazing, important few minutes of the day before you execute your intentions and unleash your best self into the world. So this is what I call the heartation powers. You can also use this to reset your day. If any time during the day when you feel like things are not going right, I'm not feeling so good, then, then you know, excuse yourself, take a few minutes, time out, do the heartation pulse, reset and, and, and readjust your focus and you know, regulate your emotions so that you have a better rest of the day. So the heartation pulse is recommended first thing in the morning and any time during the day when you feel low energy or not feeling so good. So uh, it basically combines a lot of uh, several healing modalities, stuff from positive psychology. Um, and this is something that I do every morning and it works for me. So that's why I decided, hey, let's share this instead of keeping it to myself. So Randy, are you ready for a Hartesian pause? Yes, you bet. Let's go for it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, first and foremost, what we're going to do is tapping because we want to wake up your senses, we want to wake up your body. So we're going to tap using your fingers, tip, tapping the top of your head and over around your head and take deep breaths and you do that. This is related to acupuncture and it's called part of an emotional freedom technique, EFT. So breathe with your tapping. <sighs> okay, and then you want to tap your face. There is also... Uh, points and pressure in your face that can help to wake you up. Okay, so again, use your breath to help you. Ah, and then we want to go to the middle of the eyebrow, take a deep breath in and exhale out. Ah, side of the eye. Ah, under the eye, take a deep breath in and exhale, let go. Under the nose, under the nose, not on the nose, Randy, under the nose. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> ah, it helps to keep, have a relaxed focus, so it's similar like meditation, under your mouth, deep breath in, relax and let go. <sighs> nice. Okay, and then your collarbone, tap on your collarbone, some people call this the trauma bone. Get up here where you can, I'm too close to the camera here. There we go. Yes. 
uh, looks like you're doing right. So in base case, this bone that is popping out here. And the last tab, I like to call this the side bone, basically tapping on the side, right? If you're a lady, that's literally where the bra line is. Okay, uh, tapping here. Yeah. <laughs> the big bone. I, I'm, I'm too big and I can't get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you're done, just shake it off. Shake off all the energy. Shake your head if you like. Take another deep breath. Ah, wasn't that awesome? It's so simple, right? So but that's just the beginning to open, to wake up your body, okay? So now it's... Wake we're up going, now. So now we're going to move to the second part, which is uh, heart space breathing. Uh, this is something that is also taught in heart math. Uh, since uh, I'm a heart math coach, so I'm including this in. So take uh, close your eyes and then just focus on your heart space, breathing with your heart. And you want to take in mindful breaths. Breathe in at a pace that you're comfortable with and it should be slower than your usual pace. Keep it continuous like the circle of life. Now you want to invite the circle of breath into your day. So you want to breathe in, exhale, inhalation five counts straight into exhalation five counts. Keep it smooth and continuous like the circle of life. Focus on your heart space breathing, waking up to your intuition and inner wisdom, getting ready for the day. For those of you who is kinesthetic, it might help if you actually put your hand on your heart so there is a kinesthetic feel to it to help you to stay focused. Beautiful. So we're connected to the body and we're now connecting to your heart space. And now we want to invite your mind into the space as well. So the first question you're going to ask yourself is, today, what am I grateful for? And who am I grateful for? Who is in my life that has been amazing and supportive? Moving on to the second question. What do I want to let go of today? Okay, research have shown that when you're able to re release anxiety, <laughs> When you're able to release anxious thoughts, guilt, you free up your heart space and your precious mental space to pursue the things that you want to do for the day and to show up as a best self. What do you want to let go of today? You can deal with it later at a more appropriate time. You could be guilt about some things you didn't do the last two days. Let it go. You can instruct your mind that I'm letting that go. Okay, so continue in heart space breathing. We're moving on to the third question. What is your deep work for the day? What are you focusing on? What are you offering to the world today that is of greatest value, that is so unique that only you can do it so well? What is your deep work for the day? And instruct your mind where to focus on today. And finally, in a way most important, the last question is, who are you today? How are you showing up today? And what character strengths are you going to activate today to show up as your best in your kindest self? And finally, take three deep breaths with your heart space breathing and give gratitude to yourself. Thank you for showing up. And thank you for making time to do this simple exercise, the Heart Asian House, to take care of your own well-being. Because when you take care of yourself, when your cup overflows, the world can benefit from your strongest and your kindest self. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Very nice. Welcome back, Welcome. Randy. That's a hot session pause. I could just fall asleep now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so 